Hello guys, what's up? I'm Surush Designer and with another tutorial we are in here. Today I'm going to talk about how we can model some easy house in SketchUp. Very simple and easy. So before we start this tutorial, please subscribe us, like and comment, don't forget it. And let's get started. So uh, my unit is set on the S centimeter and I'm going to work with it. This project related to the getting started with SketchUp so we imagine that we don't have this window so how we can activate it we come to the window actually view toolbars and i'm gonna active the large tool set so when i left click and drag it to the left side i can match it with my environment in the sketchup so uh now i'm gonna draw some rectangle with some different dimensions it's related to you so I'm going to draw some rectangle about 400 to 400 and I want to extrude this house like this about 400 again maybe 400 is a little too high for it so I'm going to use 300 now I'm going to click on this line in here press move option press control on my keyboard and now copy method is activated for us so I'm gonna hold this point and move it to the midpoint like this very simple and easy so I'm gonna use move option again and I only want to move it on blue axis about 126 centimeter something like that all right in this thing I want to outline some edges in this face so I'm gonna double click on it hold shift on my keyboard and deselect this face and this line in here and click on the offset option so my tiny house have some little frames around it so these frames is about 20 centimeter and now i want to push or pull it a little bit to the back side something about maybe 36 centimeter like that so now i want to add the doors and windows so i'm going to use the tape measure for my taping and measurementing so uh i'm going to click on it and use this edge so my window okb is about 100 and my windows height is about something near to the uh, 160 and the uh from the left side we have 30 centimeter and the windows width is about 80 centimeter like this and now i want to use some tool we have in here called praticator so i'm going to click on it from this edge to this edge and add my own thing like that very simple and easy so now I'm going to draw my window like this and close it. So I want to delete all of my lines in here and tape measures. So I'm going to select them and press delete on my keyboard. I'm going to take some copy of this window in here. Now I want to use tape measure again. Another tape measuring related to the uh, door. So I'm going to use this midpoint in here and my doors width is about 100 and the doors height something about 260 something like that. Now I want to take some distance from the uh, downside about 20 centimeter and from the upside about 20 centimeter again. So I must delete this extra tape measure line in here and draw my rectangle from this place to this place. So uh, I'm gonna select all of these tape measuring lines and delete them. After I deleted my tape measure lines, now I want to choose this face and take some copy of it at the another side again so now my house body is ready we don't have any work with these places because it's not important so i'm gonna click on it 
and take it a little bit back through about 10 centimeter and 10 centimeter now I want to click on it and make some type of group of it for our door we need two stairs in here so I'm gonna draw this rectangle in here and extrude it a little bit about this edge and fit it with our door size so about architectural points and views I'm gonna extrude this stairs to the uh, half of this place about 80 I'm gonna add 40 and extrude to the downside a little bit something about 10 centimeter so I'm gonna click on it and move it to the upside I'm gonna right click on it and create some type of group now I want to take some copy of it at the another place and move it to the midpoint so from the architectural points I'm going to move it to the left side because it will have been much prettier than the past so I'm going to move it a little bit to the left side something about 40 centimeter now it's much better than the past you can use it and move it like that but it's a little bit too high so I'm going to adjust it about 10 centimeter like this and this is our stage so about the another thing we have about the windows and doors I'm gonna start with my door so uh, I'm gonna select all of these faces hold shift on my keyboard and deselect this face and this line in here first of all for modeling doors in a SketchUp or 3d max or every type of 3d softwares you must start with the doors frame so outer frame have some offset about I think maybe five centimeter and now I'm gonna delete this face again so I'm gonna extrude it a little bit to the back side something about eight centimeter for example and if I want to create some profiles for this place I can add the rectangle from this place to the uh, this place but the dimension of it related to my job so I'm gonna for example type 2.5 to the F4 now I want to select this line this line and that one so I'm gonna click on the uh, follow me option and add it all right as you can see we have this window sorry door frame in here and I'm gonna convert it to the group so now I want to select this vertex in here and move it to this place so uh, our door frame is ready I'm gonna create the main door for this tiny house so I'm gonna select rectangle option and draw some rectangle from this point to the end point of this group and now I want to extrude it to the outside something like that so all this thing we need is about the doors handle so I'm gonna use tape measure again type 100 centimeter and from the uh, for example right side another six centimeter again now I want to draw some circle from the intersection of this point about one centimeter for the radius and now when I select the align option and hold on this circle I can find the center of it and I'm gonna draw some right line on the red axis about three centimeter and another line on green axis about 16 centimeter so I'm gonna select these lines as the pass and I'm gonna click on the follow me option and add this handle in here so uh, you can select on these node lines and delete them to have much lighter 3d model on your windows I'm gonna click on it and create some type of group so this is a thing we have in here and I can move this door to the inside like that it's much realistic than the past so for the window I'm gonna start with the uh, windows main places for example we have some window with some different dimensions I'm gonna use these dimensions like that 
now I want to use offset option for the offset option I'm gonna click on it and add my offset frame for example my main frame is about six centimeter so each frame must be three centimeter to join together but three is a little bit much thicker than the past I'm gonna use two centimeter I add this offset lines to my window frames I'm gonna select eraser option and delete these extra lines in here in here so now I want to click on it and select these window glasses in here take some copy of them delete these faces very simple and easy so uh, I'm gonna click on the control on my keyboard now copy method is activated for us and I want to extrude this window frame with different distance and height I want for example I think 4 is good now I'm gonna click on it and make some type of group I'm gonna open the paint bucket in here at the right side of the SketchUp environment you can see material library so if you want to choose glass option you can open this toolbar in here and add glass and mirrors so you have different type of mirrors and glass textures in here it's not heavy much quality but it's not bad for your fast modeling so I'm gonna select the uh, transparency glass blue so now I want to select all of these faces add this material to them very simple and easy I'm gonna click on the edit box adjust my color I want some type of blue something like this with some low opacity something about 20 is good and convert it to some different group in here select this vertex and move it to the uh, midpoint all right now I want to click on it and move it to the back side very simple and easy like that as you can see I want to rotate my camera and change it to this place and a little bit to the uh, forward something about three centimeter and now it's done so I want to delete this character I want to click on this model and select the materials in here for example for example I'm gonna click on the brick cladding and slidings so I'm gonna choose this modern sliding something like that it's not bad for our tiny house so you can adjust the colors very simple and easy with different type of RGB codes so I'm gonna type 164 for my red color and for the green color I want to add some number about 128 and for the blue code I'm gonna add something about maybe uh, 100 is good and you can change the texture size for example if I increase it to the 100 as you can see we have bigger tiles in here so for this place I can use this but it's not architectural so I'm gonna click on that and select concert in here so I'm gonna click on the uh, polished concrete new and add it to my model very simple and easy like that and I'm gonna click on the edit colors is good and I'm gonna reduce the texture size because I want more details on my model so I'm gonna type 100 centimeter for that and I click on the select option I come to the window model info statics and purge and use items this helps you to have much lighter files on your windows I'm gonna press ctrl s and type the file name tiny house and press save so as you can see we create these type of things in here for example we imagine this house on the landscape so I'm gonna click on all of them right click and make a group in here at the next session I'm gonna show you how I can upload this model on my sandbox and environment so I hope you enjoyed this video please do not forget to like and subscribe subscribe our channel on the YouTube and our page and the Instagram called search designer one 
So I hope you'll be fine and good and goodbye.